All right, guys, I'm just going to wait for it to load up for a minute. See what you guys are commenting. Hope you're all having a good day. Right, who we got here? All right, Shell, Nikki, what's for dinner? So, I'm just doing some onions. I am. Um, I'm waiting for Matt to get home, so we're staying at my parents for a few days because basically I've just had a little bit of a mare. Um, I've had a nightmare with mine. Um, I still don't know if it's my boiler or my water tank. Don't know the difference, I'll be honest. But one of them has decided to spring a leak so, I've come home from holiday to um, basically a wet flat. Uh, my flat now has its own swimming pool, um, which is a little bit of a nightmare because the water's now gone into the electric box or something, which is kind of blowing the electricity. Um, so, we've had to stop the water. So, basically, long story short, I can't stay at the moment. Uh, and Matt's come down for a couple of days, so yeah, we're staying at my parents. He's at work today, um, so just realised I still haven't even told you what's for dinner. Um, I'm going to do um, knocking up some burgers, some sweet potato fries, a little bit of onions for the burger, just a quick and easy dinner. What are you all having? What are you thinking, Bobby? Yeah, burger and sweet potato fries. Few onions. Oh, thanks, Chloe. How's everyone doing? I am um, stay safe in the car for show. Good to finish the phone up. Oh, completely. Yeah, definitely. It's always lovely to um, spend time with the fam. Hi, Bobby. Was watching old Terry episodes today. Made me still. Love you, Bob. If I was getting started. Oh yeah, this is the thing as well. With everything that's actually going on in the world at the minute, there's clearly far bigger things going on to worry about than a broken boiler or water tank. Um, and thankfully and gratefully, I've got a roof over me. Do you know what I mean? My parents. So, although it's not ideal, it's not end of the world. Beans on toast. You can't beat a bit of beans on toast, but. Do you add cheese to them? I like cheesy beans on toast. Some people not feeling it, but it, everyone is a bit different, though. But yeah, I live for the, the cheesy beans. So I realise this lighting is so unflattering, but just having one of them weeks where I really don't care. You know, you just kind of got so much on your, on your plate and on your mind. As you can tell, no product in here, no nothing. Um, I don't think so, uh, Oh, thanks, Jack. Just got back from Tenerife yesterday. No, 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 no. Just on testing positive on the flight. How did you find out someone on the flight was positive? And how long have you got to stay in isolation for? Oh. What's going on? Sorry, guys. Have a good night, there. How do I get that down? Oh, turn. Right, here we go. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my phone. Salmon sprout, sugar snap peas, fried in olive oil, garlic, ginger, lemon on toast. Oh, I love the salad. I love a sugar snap pea. Is that Lou Row on the shelf above? No, it's kitchen roll. <laughs> Not that I want to rub it in because I know this is like gold dust at the minute. Uh, which is another story. Um, went to the supermarket again today because I don't know how it is in a lot of your supermarkets and where you you are all are. But um, I mean, it's just so empty the shelves in that that you can't possibly even think of doing a week shop. So I'm picking things up literally to tide me over for a day or two here and there. Um, and pretty much just grabbing in terms of um, what you can, really. So you've just got to go and hope for the best. 
but again I'm not complaining because some people are struggling to even get that um, I mentioned in my recent post where I managed to pick up a few extra bits because I just thought you know what I just feel like I need to do something I'm hearing so many things from people who work for the NHS and not even just NHS workers but so many people are in the same boat but especially NHS they're rushed off their feet at the minute they're keeping a safe and well and doing all they can they're doing extra hours and by the time they get to the supermarkets the shelves really are like there um, and I mean even for me and I'm getting there and I'm going like as much as I can or not as much as I can but as much as I need to it's there then let alone kind of hearing about people doing double shifts back to back so I thought whatever I could get a few extra of I'd just put into the trolley and we'll take to a food bank this weekend and just hope that helps a few people like I just think in a time like this we've just got to do all we can do to kind of help each other a little bit but um hello from Turkey hello Turkey um yeah but i just think everything we can do and it really isn't about uh necessarily donating food because we all know how hard it is to to get it ourselves so i'm just trying to work my phone out here we go good vibes probably all in there Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Ah, oh, that's better. Hello. How you doing? I'm back. She's back. Oh, I feel like I need a filter on now. You're looking so Oh, yeah, great. the retro's gone on. I'm filtering, so see this cooking face. Three, two, one. What you on? Uh, sorry. What you got on, retro or gut grain? Oh, I don't know which one it is. How you been? All right. Thanks for nah. people to go to the food bank. Oh, thank you, babe. Yeah, I just think, you know what? And like I did say in my previous post, it's not even about donating food because so many of us are struggling to even get food for ourselves, our families. Um, even just time or, or reaching out to people. So if you live next to someone elderly or you know of someone that's struggling, see if they need a pint of milk, see if they need some bread. Um, I haven't been able to get eggs for days, but you know what I mean? If someone needs eggs and you can see eggs in your supermarket... I can't get eggs. A, what, why can't we get eggs? It's I might as well start hatching my own. This is it. Do you know what? If I'd land, I'd so buy chickens after this. I mean, you can't beat a fresh laid egg anyway, but it's inspired me to need a little bit of land and to get chickens. When are you guys back on TV? Do you know, honestly, we don't know. We was meant to start filming next week, but with everything that's happened, um, obviously cast and crew safety is priority. Um, so postponed for the foreseeable. <laughs> that, that was your day. I'm just reading the messages. I ain't had a good day, I've got to be honest. All right, Fred. Well, what's, tell me about your day, sir. Is that washing machine really loud? Because I feel like it's about to take off. I feel like I'm... Yeah, but it, has, it is a bit loud. Oh. So I'm going to have to just try and tell Cobra because it's still got 32 minutes on it. I'm still doing... Still trying dinner. To wash. Well, doing dinner. I'm a multitasker, Seth. I'm cooking. I'm still getting... Yeah, you couldn't tomorrow. come and see me tomorrow, could you? I can try to. Well, what do you mean, try? I'm still working through the, the work, working through the tail end of my my uh, washing from holiday. It's all just co me. I've just been telling them on the live about, about the flat and all that. So it's just been one of them busy weeks. But in terms of what's going on in the world, it ain't that big a deal. Shout out to Queen's Hospital. Shout out. I've shouting out to Queen's Hospital. And shout out to my local hospital. hospital. Every single hospital was shouting out. Clock is wrong. No, I think it's just because it's going to be a reflection because it's a camera. So it oh. looks like it says four o'clock, but it's not. It says, I think, 11 minutes to eight, does it? Something like, yeah. Eight minutes to eight. Yeah, I think. 
Bob and Seth Friday night. Oh, and it was. Um, Bob, um, I'll have to read. I'll have to rejoin because it keeps freezing. No, just give it a second to catch up. It ain't freezing, Seth. Yeah, it stops the comments. It done it yesterday. Have you gone right down to the bottom again? Scroll yeah. Up. All right, rejoin in a bit. No, I'll rejoin now. <laughs> just re-accept me. It will start again. I might accept you. I might not. I'll see oh, no, come on. I'm in California. Oh, you lucky thing. I wish I was in California. What part? So yeah. Colleagues in South End Hospital Medical Services Department Pharmacy who make the chemotherapy dose. Oh, bless you. Honestly, you lot are like, I've always said it about the NHS, that you're just like angels, honestly, what you all do to keep us well. And I just don't think there's enough thanks in the world for that. LA, oh, amazing. I've only been to LA once, but loved it. Um, I don't know, I'm waiting for her to rejoin, but we'll chat until then. Love you, well, bless you, love you guys too. I was at supermarket and the security had an issue. This poor guy, I go, but I told him to Glasgow City. So th this is what I'm finding as well. The city, it's just so weird being in supermarkets at the minute, isn't it? With all this going on, like, I can't believe, shout out to Broomfield Hospital. I can't quite believe um, what what's going on at the minute. It's just all just a little bit crazy. I would just like to say hi and hope you're safe and well, Bobby. Thank you. Yeah, I'm safe and well, thank you. And I hope you are all too. So, guys, I'm throwing it over to you. How are you all feeling? What's going on your end? I love you, Bobby Love from LA. Oh, another LA. Oh, can't wait to get back out there. It's amazing. I'm hoping James Cook Hospital. Shout out to James Cook Hospital. How's my boy? Yeah, he's good. He's just on his way home from work. Um, so I'm being like the little, the house husband, as I'm not working for a little bit. Embarrassing to be, to be British at the moment. Do you know what? I think let's kind of put a positive spin on it and let's be proud that hopefully we all get our act together and and just come together and, and just literally do our best to get through it because we're all in it together. I just can't stress enough. People need to stop this bulk buying and stockpiling because there's just nothing left for no one. Like, and I don't understand why there's people running around buying 25 bars of soap and 15 boxes of cereals. That's all we this can do, I think, isn't it? We've got to keep our spirits up and just and be grateful that we're in the positions we are. Because I'll tell you what, it is a scary old thing, um, what we're seeing on the news at the minute and everything. So I think we're quite blessed, which sounds mad, um, but compared to some parts of the world, like when you look at Italy and some of these places that have been on lockdown for a few days, well, for a couple of weeks now even, um, I just think, gosh, bless them. So and that's what I'm still... That's where my positive lies. Positivity, should I say. Um, yeah, we're, we're still not in lockdown. And as long as we're not, we're one step closer. I mean, obviously, the ideal, the news ain't ideal tonight about the shops and everything. So I've missed the speech. Can anyone, because I don't want to give the wrong information, and you lot will know more than me. Um, what is the, the latest in terms of, I've heard apparently shops are closed, Gyms, is that right? And restaurants. So, please let me know. Like, Seth wants to come live, and let's. I'm here, she says. Oh, my sister's in Milan, and if I open up, she's in. No, she's too. I'm sorry. Anything so to teach? So, again, to everyone like that in, in, in your um, in your profession, nurses, teachers, police, fire, everyone, like literally, you're 
Well, everyone in every job, do you know what? Because I... everyone's bringing something different to the table. All right, Seth, is it working now? Yeah, bit of a bad yeah. light, but I'm cooking and on now because I ain't had no dinner. What's it so stupid? It's 80% of selling for private sector up to 2.5. I'm just saying that. I'm missing other things like that. All right, Paige. VAT payments deferred. Yeah, you know, dream team alive. Well, do you know, I had so many messages, and I think Saf did too yesterday after we went live. That, um, that, that, oh, oh, that's it. I can see you now. That we kind of just, um, <sighs> thought, why we just make these a little bit of a regular thing? So, yeah, just, just keep your eyes posted on my stories throughout the day, and any day I'm going to do it, I'll always do a little shout out first um, to say I'm doing it. Um, but I think it's just good for us to have that little, I mean, let's have it right. There's not much else we can do with an evening now. It's not like we're going out for dinner or we I mean, can't even go to the gym or go swimming now. So we might as well all sit and watch <coughs> watch me on the Instagram lives. Steph, you're right. I can see a load of steam coming up there. You be careful. Yeah, I don't know what's happened. The oil. Oh, Steph, you'll have your skin off. Hold on. I'm just I'm cooking a stir fry. Yeah, be careful. Oh, you're burning up. No, <laughs> I'm all right. Are you sure? That oil, look, you've got to be careful with oil what I eat. No, it's all right. I've turned it down a bit. Let me just get the ingredients. Oh, I... Ingredients in a wet tea towel. Hello, Grace. Yeah, hello, Grace. You're right. Are they telling us twice like that? What as in hey. lockdown? Oh. Peace no. of love and light, you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are they still going to film Terry? I'll put it on hold for now. Uh, Sheza, is it? Um, we are currently, we was meant to start next week, but we postponed because of everything going on. Um, obviously, it's there's, it's quite a big team that goes to the tower. The stuff outside of the camera. You've got the cameramen, you've got the sound, you've got the lighting, you've got producers. Um, it's, a big it's a big firm. Um, it's a lot of people's safety to, uh, to worry about. And ultimately, that's what comes first. So we've not cancelled. So we are, still, we are going to still be doing that series. It's just, I think, a little bit of a delay. Until, well, I think it's pretty much a play by ear. I generally haven't been given a, a new filming date, but I've, I've definitely been told we're not cancelled. We're just, we're postponed for the foreseeable. Oh, thanks, Ems. What are you cooking, Bob? So, um, I've just cooked up some onions because I'm doing me that, um, I'm just doing a quick and easy one tonight. I'm just doing a burgers and sweet potato fries. How is everyone then? Hello, Susie. Hello, Henry and Oscar. If you want to put on fake tan, why is it your problem? Who's got on fake tan? Does someone think I've got fake tan on? I mean, I hold my hands up. I love a bit of fake tan, but I genuinely haven't got any on, so... He's been on holiday. I've been away. This is legit real. I'm looking to have a spray tan, though. When tonight? No, tomorrow night. Hello, you sent me to sleep. Oh, thank you, Cameron. That's sweet. We sent him to sleep, sir. <sighs> Who cares if you were? I mean, this is it. It's funny, and it. I don't care. I've, I've, I've never denied. There's too much going on. I ain't even paying attention to it. Who's that? Oh, very house. Where do you go to uni, Amber? She can't wait to be home in Essex tomorrow. Night to my, night to my girls, Ellen and Freya. Night, Ellen and Freya. One minute. Time is not the best of things, but I'll just stay positive. <laughs> this is the thing, I mean, that's another thing I'm, which I don't really think of. Yeah. Pregnant people at the moment going through living for a long time, it's it's just so scary. But I know 
Yeah. What we can do is just try and be as positive as we actually can because if, if we're not, what else have we actually got? Like on a reel, we haven't really got a choice. So, what are you doing in your stir fry, Sam? All right, Debs. I'm going to do a king prawn stir fry in a sweet chili and garlic sauce with rice noodle. I was going to do a okay. chili con carne, but. I had a nice uh, prawn stir fry the other night, and I don't even really eat prawns, but I'll be really honest, because I couldn't get really any of the ingredients I would normally eat, I just had to pick up something, and something's better than nothing, so that's what we have to remember. Tell me it's, um postponed for the foreseeable future. We've got a two-week delay at the moment, but that could increase. Obviously, we're in the same boat as everyone else, so we're just following the guidelines of the government and for the safety of everyone, really, the big crew of cars. Yeah, it's true. I'm afraid. We only found out at the same time. Well, just before you. Watch Trey. That the show's on. Joe, that the show's been delayed. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, it is Trey. I was so ready to get back filming because we obviously haven't filmed since we did the Christmas special, which obviously feels so long ago. But well, it was long ago, so. I, uh. Yeah, we are both self-isolating, basically, now. I have done a bit of food shopping, but other than that, well, I've stayed... We kind of got it, not we? we can't not eat. Is everyone else self-isolating? What else has been said, then, in today's meeting from um, Boris and that? What are they saying? Well, it's all... Basically, all public places are closed where you can socially gather with big groups. So, theatres, um, obviously the schools are closed now from today, but theatres, leisure centres, gyms, restaurants, so a lot of people will be having their Mother's Day at home. Sorry, so Bobby, has everything going in Parliament? So, sorry, what's that? My hands off. Clubs. Amazingly and excitingly, um, I heard very recently that um, the MPs and Parliament have agreed that my petition should be debated and that I will be going into Parliament and Houses of Commons to debate it. Um, but obviously, if everything now happens since, um, in terms of, I think, you can just imagine what the meetings are like every day in there, trying to sort the country out, basically. Things are prioritised. So I, I'm just still waiting to it. The minute I kind of know as, as and when it is, I will absolutely be sharing it. Um, and like I have said before, please believe me that I will not stop campaigning, going up to Parliament, Houses of Commons, um, I, I will do all I can for as long as it takes till like, the law is changed or until, until change is made, basically, because it, I just can't believe that it, it, it just, it, it's beggar's belief to me that people, we're having people take their own lives, people are self-harming. Um, and don't get me wrong, I love social media. Um, I'm not hating on it, I'm not bashing it, but yeah. there's a dark side to it, so let's make a difference. Bobby's oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take on the Prime Minister's job. When Boris is done with it, drop me a message. I'm there. What will I go to? Watch. Alright, Linda. Alright, Lou. Yeah, just cooking a stir fry, but I've ended up with raw. I've got raw prawns. Crab Marks is what are you doing? Well, I can do that now. Yeah. 
Are you back? You froze for ages, Bob. Oh, sorry, Matt called me just to say oh. he's 15 minutes away. Have you ever cooked black currants, Bob? Sorry, babes. Have you ever cooked black currants? Yeah. It's cooked until they go pink. Yeah, raw broths. I've never done it. I've usually bought them pink. Yeah, cook until they go pink. Oh, yeah, I'm cooking them, all right. No, I didn't get your message about wax milk. Do you love a wax milk? Hopefully see you guys soon when filming starts. Where are you, Lou? Oh, thanks, Chez. Is it frozen for everyone else? Is it frozen? What? Someone said, is it frozen for anyone else? I'm wondering if it's all frozen their end. No. Hello? Am I frozen your end, sir? No, you're back now. I'm back. What happened? Sorry, my phone rang. Um, Where's um, Matt? Uh, Matt is 15 minutes away. I Someone think... asked if we can do rock, paper, scissors to see who wins, sir. All right. Hold on a minute. My oven's just gone overly hot. I'm left to let it cool down. Right, go on. Three, two, two one. one. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, she done me. Ready? Three, Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. You I'm them scissors. Um... Katie's oh, your back bow's all good. No, it's fine. No, no, it's all good in the hood. We're back. We're back in town. We're back in business, so that's good. Katie's collectibles. What is it that you want to send? I've missed the message. Oh, so, some lady said, did we get a DM about her? Um, Kate, um, yeah, she said. Oh, I messaged you on the end trend, end trend, end trend trial. Oh, I well, have a look. Restaurant dining rooms are closed and currently curbside takeaways. Yeah, it's um, it's, it's pretty scary. Uh, how much is changing day by day, isn't it? Yeah, well, like I think you just can't make no plans at the minute, can you, for anything? Nah. Because as soon as you do, you, you turn on that news and it changes. It's a terrible worry. That. Right, so what are you all doing for dinner? Oh, thanks, Chief. Hope you're well, babe. I work and travel and be working from home. Oh, gosh, bless you. But that's not a good industry to be in at the minute, travel. <laughs> I look like a fish. <laughs> Jacket potato I love with... Oh, what are, you, what are you putting in your spuds? I'm a cheese and beans boy. I like coleslaw, cheese and beans. Mix up a bit of mayo. School on Monday, the children need us. Absolutely good on you. So, what's happening with schools? Are they all closed or I've heard they're staying open for certain students? Is it? Yeah, what? looked after children can go in if they're in care or under the foster system or social services. 
lockdown's going to last 12 weeks, apparently. And it was mm -hmm. gay. So have they, have they mentioned lockdown then today? No, I think this is just the start of it. <laughs> someone, I've just seen someone said that they, it's going to be for 12 weeks. I'm a hairdresser still working close to public. Well, it's every four weeks that they review it. Ah. Uh, all closed for key workers, children. Closed until September in Leeds. Not blind, they really. Out on the timings, all close. Yeah, my oven's playing up my hob, it's overheating. There's a spider on the wall, wait, me or Sash? Who's got the spider? What? Okay. Is that a joke? Someone said we've got a big spider on the wall, I'm hoping it's you. Don't it's, it's, a it's a joke, Bob. Sure, um, it's I have to go now, I've got a lot to do. It's lovely to talk to you. Ah, oh, thanks, Jasmine. Yeah, lockdowns for 12 weeks, but they said it could go on for a year. No. What? We'll be locked in our houses for a year? I go, they said the social distancing could go on for a year. Lockdown won't be too far away, I reckon they're doing it in phases. All pubs, clubs, bars, cinemas, cafes, restaurants and gyms will be closed as of tonight. Oh, it literally, it gives me anxiety, Billy. Um, we were saying on last night's lives, um, who else is getting affected with the with the corona anxiety? So I'm sure it's part of the arts. What I would like to know is what's everyone doing at home all day long? I mean I know that people have got children and things like that, but if you haven't got that and you're sort of indoors on your own, what are you doing? This is it. Seth's gone out and bought herself a puzzle. Yeah. I'm just trying the prongs. I don't know what's if that's cooked to even. I've just let it for Well, they're the pink. Oh, I can't. Yeah, how long have they been pink for? Little while. I'm just going to do. Just gonna carry on doing them in a minute. Yeah. Building Lego, cleaning, cleaning. A lot of people are doing their wardrobes out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna start doing next. I find cleaning very therapeutic. Even not even just with the corona thing, just for my OCD and my anxiety in general, I find cleaning really stems my head. And the gym, but obviously I can't do that in a minute. See, if you can work from home, I suppose these people are occupied with their laptops and that, but if your job is on the go or outside with the public... Yeah, you can time to re when you're at home. You can yeah, you can work from home. It works out perfectly, Cam. You're fucking in battery, no, doesn't it? It's the right time. It's just that on cameras and in mirrors, it goes the other way round. That, that legit does say 16 past eight. Not... What, would the, what does it look like, it says? Please yeah, shout out to all of the... Well done. Sleeping off all my shift in the hospital, I'm shattered. Honestly, <laughs> and I said at the start of the live, I cannot thank... All of you NHS staff, everybody works in a hospital, every single job role, like just everyone, there's people in the country going from, from the boy oh, mail, supermarket. the supermarkets, delivery men that are still doing the parcels. Like, this is tough times. Um, but that's rather than the the negative of trying to hold on positive things because you know what, I, we, so many of us are trying our best and yeah we've got a lot of you that are running around buying more than they need and, and leaving nothing for nothing else but I suppose a lot of people are scared, I mean we're all scared but I 
ones don't get ready to see pictures of people that have got like 150 tins of beans. I've not been able to get a tin of beans or a, a tin of chopped tomatoes. I used my last tin the other day when I made... Um, what did I make the other day? I did like a pasta dish. Um, and it was the very last tin I had. And I've not been able to get a tin of tomatoes or a tin of beans. Um, managed to get a few tin things today for the food bank. Just like green beans, sweet corn, a few soup. Um, Hello, Charlene. My son's working 12 hours delivering supplies for super drugs up and down the country. His girlfriend only had a baby two weeks ago. Oh, bless him. Send him our love. My daughter in law's a nurse. She's working all hours, bless her. Honestly, the hours that the NHS is doing. Am I right in saying most people work for the NHS are doing um, shifts? Extra shifts. Like, doing yeah. hours just to keep things going. And I think that's why the message is I'm getting so many of the NHS are struggling to get their shopping done because by the time that they're finally out of the out of the hospital or out of work, there's nothing left. I mean, when I've gone into the supermarket, there's hardly anything left, and I've not done an 18-hour shift. Bargains at the Outland's got a lot in. Last oh, heartbreaking. Yeah, but I bet. Because isn't it meant to be a lot of the a lot of the schools breaking up like their last day of term anyway, or has it all been cut? It off? was next Friday. Oh, uh, so it's all been brought forward a week. Yeah, so what they're doing is like two weeks off for Easter, which would have happened, and then a week after, but then to see, but apparently the latest is, is that they won't be going back till September. Black cab is the homeless, the elderly, emergency service, social... My dad's a black cab, everyone. Oh, Hello, Hayley. Hello, Summer and Holly. Hello, Summer and Holly. I am here, Jackie boy. Is all we can. What else have we got? Done in. It's nearly done now. What time are you having dinner? Right, so my dinner will be about quarter to nine. So, shall we do another little live later? Because I'm going to go and just start doing the dishwasher and tidying things up. But, um, yeah, half nine? About half nine-ish. Guys, if you fancy checking in with yeah. us again and having a little chat, um, we'll do a little Q&A for you. Um, yeah, aim for about nine. Take off your dinners and put your feet up. Oh, yeah. We'll make you for the Friday, chocolate after. Friday night feelings. Friday vibes. So, yeah. we, might, we might as well all spend our Friday nights together. Better than the cinema. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we'll do a little Q&A, we'll all catch up and um, we'll check back in in about an hour or so. Lots of love. Bye, guys. Bye.